What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot audio issues on Arch Linux. I'm currently running the latest version, and of course, using bespoke hardware like an Audient ID14 interface, I sometimes get weird issues where the audio crackles and things like that. But most likely, you're watching this video if you're experiencing weird crackling audio, either input or output, on a virtual machine running Arch. The fixes here work for practically any OS that's using Pipewire, so that's what I'll be showing you here. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the freedesktop.org Pipewire page, where on the wiki, troubleshooting, they talk about fixing crashes, memory leaks, missing features, etc. But what I'll be focusing on is stuttering audio and loud pops when starting a sound. If you struggled with either of these things, this is the solution that you're looking for. Though, just before we get into this, let's quickly make sure that our settings are default. All right, so I'll open up a new console and we'll be making sure that a couple of packages are installed. On my PC, I'll be using pacman-s, but yours it may be apt-get, etc. Then we wanna make sure that Pipewire, Pipewire Audio, Pipewire Pulse, Pipewire Alsa, Pipewire Jack, Wire Plumber, and RT Kit are all installed. Simply hit enter, type in your password, and confirm if anything is missing. Then we'll want to restore the default settings by simply running cp user share pipewire pipewire conf into etsy pipewire. You'll find this in the description down below. This will reset the changes. Now, just before we do this, if you'd like to see what's different between your current settings and the default settings, simply copy the same command, except we'll be replacing cp with diff, D-I-F-F. Then paste in both of these directories and add pipewire.conf to the last result here. So we're comparing the default with the current settings. When we hit enter, you'll see whatever is different. Red is on the left, green is on the right. As you can see, these are the settings that I've changed. I've only really removed hashes here to actually apply these settings. But anyways, if you're curious what you'll be losing, this is how you can compare two different files. All right, so if we copy and replace the default settings as such, we can then use and just a quick note, if this video stops making audio, you'll need to restart your browser in order for it to start working again in most cases. So just make sure you're aware of that before you run systemctl hyphen hyphen user restart wire plumber pipe wire and pipe wire pulse. I won't be running this as it'll mess up my recording. Now, if things still aren't fixed and you happen to be running a virtual machine, then that's where this page comes in for stuttering audio. This may also fix stuttering audio on slow or hardware that isn't a virtual machine. So anyways, the first block includes making a directory in config wireplumber main lua.d. Then we'll change directory into this folder and we'll copy the default 50 alsa config into this current folder. Again, you'll find all of these in the description down below. Once you've done this, we'll either open it and manually change these two lines here, or we can run four commands which you'll find down below. The first one and the second one over here makes these two changes that are recommended. However, another two that may help you, especially with Firefox, thanks to KOTV on the Arch Linux forums, are these two lines over here that specifically may help with fixing audio for Firefox. So I'll copy both of these, paste these both in here and hit enter. Now at this point, again, make sure you have this page bookmarked or copied as you may need to restart your browser when you run systemctl user restart wire plumber pipe wire pipe wire pulse. That's it. At this point, your audio should hopefully be improved. Also a quick note, if you're running things like OBS, etc., you may need to restart your system as video capture uses pipe wire as well in most cases and is probably gonna need a system reboot just to get everything working again as you hope. Now, just before you click off, one other common issue is loud pops when starting a sound and this is most likely caused by power saving. This should disable power saving for your Intel HD audio. If you're using that, pasting it in, hitting enter, it should work, otherwise sudo, otherwise you'll need to change to the root user with su, enter your root password and paste that in. There we go, now we can change back to my user. Now, if you'd like to permanently make this change, you can find this over here, Etsy mod probe D audio disable power save dot CONF and inside of this file, so sudo nano or nvim, whatever editor you're using, this file, password, you can add the line options sound HDA incel power save equals zero. That's it. Now you can save the file and the next time you boot up your PC, this change should be made pretty much permanently. 
That's it. I'd highly recommend you check out the rest of this page here as it has a ton of information for troubleshooting Pipewire if that is causing you issues. That also being said, Pipewire is the default for a lot of systems. If you're using Pulse Audio and not Pipewire, then this isn't really going to help you at all. This is only specifically for Pipewire. If you're not too sure what you're using, you can use the command PACTL info pipe which is the straight line, usually shift backslash just above enter, grep server name inside of quotes, hit enter, and it should tell you what you're using. I'm apparently using Pulse Audio on Pipewire. So there we go. I am using Pipewire and it's translating Pulse Audio into Pipewire, which is probably what you'll be using too if you chose the recommended settings when installing Arch Linux, etc. You may see things like Pipewire, Pipewire Media, Pipewire Pulse, etc. But anyways, hopefully this video helped you get rid of crackling audio and other issues on Arch Linux, especially in VMs. And of course, if you're using something other than Arch that's using Pipewire, this has probably helped you too. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Mine has been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.